Hi guys, Matty from the Bailey's Diesel Group. One more time, wishing you guys a very merry Christmas on the run in, on the run into the festive season. So basically today we just wanted to do a quick video about the suction control valves and what it can actually mean to your engine performance. Alright, so with the Denso fuel systems in many of the cars, which includes the Nissan Navaras, Toyota Hiluxes, Prados, Land Cruisers, all the rest of these other sorts of things, they operate what they call a suction control valve. Now, because these fuel pumps have to pump so much fuel values by such a high uh, pressure value, what it does is it actually takes so many kilowatts of energy to drive this. Now, say for example, like I know our bench downstairs has a 15 kilowatt electronic motor on it, so if we run that at 100% of the fuel value, it basically takes the whole 15 kilowatts to do it. Now, for your car to run down the highway, it runs at about 40 kilowatts basic usage anyway of the motor. So what ends up happening is that if we would add 15 to that, the engine fuel economy drops out the window. So rather than like a petrol car where they basically pump 100% and return what they don't need, they run what they call a suction control valve, for, which for want of a better term is basically the throttle of the fuel pump. So rather than just have 100% and then basically waste or return all of the, this excess energy, they just don't use it in the first place. But what it actually does is creates another bit of a fail issue within the Denso system itself. So, and everybody talks about injectors and things like this, but there's also the suction control valve, which can actually give you quite a lot of problems in terms of basic engine performance, because it's probably the largest thing that's gonna actually govern the rail pressure itself. So we find that generally when this fluctuates, we get a lot of engine performance issues, not so much the knock, but we do get an, uh, an increased engine rattle and just a sort of general level of discomfort, like the actual engine sounds a bit horrible. Um, so generally what we find is probably the best tell is to look at the actual rail pressure versus the target rail pressure. Now, if the actual is, if the target's nice and steady, and generally speaking, the engine's gotta be warm to do so, um, the, the actual shouldn't move more than say three or 400 PSI. Now, when we find that these are really quite bad, we find they jump by about 1,000 to 1,200 PSI. So that's something to keep in mind. And, and if you've got real issues with, with the suction control valve, I would probably start by changing that first, because particularly when it comes to doing the injectors, because uh, first and foremost, it's a cheap fix. So, you know, you, you generally want to knock over those things first. Um, but also that, that at the end of the day, it is a known problem. So even if it doesn't get rid of 100% of the problem and you, and you do have to fit the injectors later on, uh, at least you've crossed that off the list and, and basically you get that sorted first and foremost. So listen guys, I hope that helps and uh, generally good luck with it and, and happy four wheeling. <laughs>